Hello and welcome to this episode of Product of the Week. I'm your host and sometimes confused maker, Robin Mitchell. In today's episode, we will be looking at not one, but two different goodies. The Red Pattaya STEM Lab 125-14, which I will just call the Red Pattaya from now on, and the Red Pattaya Click Shield. The Red Pattaya range of devices are development platforms that let you create all kinds of impressive software-defined radio systems, as well as test instruments, analyzers, and so much more. Being a little bit more specific, it is great for handling extremely fast analog and digital signals due to the incorporation of really well-designed RF in and out ports, as well as the digital IO interfaces and the use of a Xilinx FPGA. But while this board is great, it is made even better with the Red Pattaya Click Expansion Kit, which lets you use click boards with the Red Pattaya. So really, if you want a Red Pattaya, you really should definitely get the Click Shield as well. What makes the Red Pattaya truly awesome is its high degree of configurability, specifically at the hardware level. Because this board is powered by a special Xilinx FPGA, it allows for users to entirely customize the hardware level of this board. So instead of creating typical software code that gets executed line by line, you can effectively design a logic circuit, flash that to the FPGA, and have extremely complex designs operate in real time. This could be anything from a basic hardware multiplier all the way to a full-fledged CPU. Oh, the core in this board also has two ARM cores as well, so there's that. The Click expansion that goes with the Red Pattaya is awesome because not only does it give you access to MicroE's range of over 1600 click boards, by the way, they release a new one every day at 10 a.m., but it also preserves the logic analyzer features of the Red Pattaya. To start, the Red Pattaya integrates a Xilinx Zinc 7010 FPGA with two ARM Cortex A9 MPU cores, 512 megabytes of RAM, and support for an external micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes in size. When running the default image that comes with the board, a web interface accessible over the integrated Ethernet connector allows for configuration and uploading of code. At the front of this board is four RF connectors, two of which are used as inputs and the other two as outputs. The sample rate of each connector is 125 megabits per second with a resolution of 14 bits, which is stupidly fast. And the support for 16 GPIO connectors along with the four separate analog input channels and four analog output channels gives you plenty of IO opportunities. Additionally, these GPIO also support UART I2C and SPI, which is massively beneficial for peripheral expansion. The Red Pattaya Click provides two microbus connectors, while a whole range of switches and jumpers on the Red Pattaya Click provide a high degree of configuration, including interrupt sources, triggers, and voltage selection. The addition of tiny coax SMD connectors also allows for low loss connections between different Red Pattaya boards, allowing for further expansion and the use of carefully controlled impedances mean that you can spread critical signals such as clock signals and triggers across various boards, all while ensuring clock synchronization. So long story short, you can sync up multiple boards and make sure they're all working correctly with each other. Undoubtedly, the Red Pattaya range of devices can be used to create extremely advanced signal processors. So the inclusion of this click expansion means that you can combine the many thousand of click boards with the Red Pattaya. So one project idea that personally comes to my mind would be a conditional environmental analyzer, which measures critical data from sensors depending on environmental conditions. This could be used for training AI in smart city and smart industrial spaces, whereby the Red Pattaya acts as an intelligent data gathering system. Another potential project idea that comes to mind would be an advanced debugging system for embedded hardware. The use of the logic analyzer and scope combined with a power reading clickboard could be used to measure the power in real time, while the logic analyzer could be used to determine what portion of code is consuming the most power. 
All in all, if you are looking to create extremely sophisticated systems such as ground-penetrating radar, RF scanners, advanced logic analyzers, and remote debuggers, then the Red Pattaya is for you, and the extra addition of the Click Shield will be extremely handy for those needing extra peripherals. If you like what we do here at Electromaker and you want to show your support, then hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and check out our store at www.electromaker.io where you can get all the bits and bobs you could ever need for that next wacky project. This is Robin Mitchell, signing off. Ooh, yeah.